go to the start button at the bottom left corner of the screen right here and then you're going to right click it and then you're going to click where it says system okay and so it should take you to this screen right here all right now go to the left side of the screen and click where it says advanced system settings right here okay so now go to the tab that says remote right here and then make sure these options are enabled by default they are disabled so make sure this is enabled allow remote assistant connection to this computer and go down right here and make sure you choose this option allow remote connection to this computer now don't check this make sure this is not checked the one that says allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication the reason is even though it's more secure but it limits how you connect through windows desktop to windows re through remote desktop so don't choose this option right here so after doing all of that click apply and then click ok all right so now the computer you're about to connect to is all set up and now you can remotely connect to it well now how do we do that well now go to your computer go to your main computer and then now you are going to open the remote desktop app so to do, to do that click the start button right here and then just type remote desktop and here it is remote desktop connection here it is right here remote desktop connection you should see it and click on it and here it is as you can see here it's asking me for the computer name so enter the computer name here or the IP address and then click connect okay so right here you are going to enter the computer name or the IP address and then click connect but wait what if you don't know the computer name what if you don't know the IP address easy well say for example you want to find the IP address doing this is quite simple go right here go right here at the bottom right at the bottom right corner of the screen this time and you see where you see where this wireless icon here is where this wireless icon is uh, if you are using a wire connection a physical connection you should see two computers right here so where you see this Wi-Fi icon right click it and then click open network and sharing center right here open network and sharing center Oops. and then they should open it right here all right and if that doesn't work for you uh, you can always do this you can always click the start button at the bottom left corner of the screen and then type network and sharing center okay so now this, it should take you to the same screen all right so now you should see your main connection right here you should see your main connection whether whether it is wired or wi-fi so now you're going to right click it so you're going to click on it i'm sorry click on it and now you're going to click where it says details right here details and right here you should see your ip your ip address and now where it says ipv4 address right here well this is your ip address right there okay very simple very simple to do and another way you can find your ip address another way is by going right here to the bottom left corner of the screen type command prompt select one as administrator right click on it and select one as administrator and then type and then type IP config right here press enter and here you go the IPv4 address same same number right here so there are many ways to find the IP address okay and so that IP address you want to enter it where it says the computer name or as you know you can also enter the computer name and to find that is also really simple all you have to do is go right here to the bottom left corner of the screen you're going to right click right here right click and then click on system again click on system and then this window should, this window should open 
and as you can see right here here's here's your computer name all right here's your computer name so once you have all of that information once you have your ip address or your computer name uh open remote des desktop connection so go to the bottom left corner of the screen right here and then type remote desktop and so open the remote desktop app and then enter your computer name or ip address right here enter it and then click connect and that's it once you do this you should be connected to your other computer